what is the best cardio to burn the fat off of your belly as fast as possible? So let's dive into this. Go ahead and give the video a like. Let's talk about how we lose fat to begin with. So we lose fat by being in a calorie deficit. Being in a calorie deficit simply means that you are taking in or eating less calories per day than you burn. So let's look at somebody who burns 2,500 calories per day. If that person eats 2,000 calories a day, will they lose weight? Yes, because they are eating now 500 less calories per day than they burn. They're burning 2,500 calories, they're eating 2,000. Where does that extra 500 calories come from? that we need to use to actually fuel our body, it's coming from body fat. But there is a huge distinction here. You might be thinking, okay, so I can just you know do cardio, get that 500 calories. Well, if you're not in a calorie deficit, cardio will not burn fat. Cardio burns calories. Cardio burns calories usually from the stored glucose in our muscles, which is called glycogen. Um, also stored glucose from our liver, also called glycogen. So it can burn calories from there. It can also burn stored fat. It can also burn fat from our dietary fat and from our uh, carbs that are in our bloodstream as well. So that's a lot of different ways that we can actually burn calories. And cardio can help to get us to a calorie deficit, which can of course lead to weight loss. But if you are, let's use the 2,500 calorie example again, if you are burning 2,500 calories, but you are still over consuming, say you're eating 3,000 calories a day and you're doing some cardio and you're gaining some weight, you're thinking, I'm doing cardio, what's going on? Well, the cardio is not burning your fat because you're overeating on how many calories you need per day to maintain your weight. You can find your calorie calculator um, online, there's uh, NIH body weight planner is the one I like to use and you can find what your daily calorie uh, allocation should be per day. Um, but just realize that cardio doesn't always lead to fat loss. And in fact, you don't need to do cardio at all to lose fat. You don't need to do any exercise. If you're eating less calories per day than you burn, you are going to lose weight. I would never recommend that because of course there's a lot of good health benefits from doing cardiovascular exercise and doing cardiovascular exercise will allow you to eat more which will make the dieting more pleasant but you could sit in bed do nothing and just eat less calories and you're gonna lose weight you're gonna lose a lot of muscle too so make sure you do some cardio and weight training when we're talking about the best calorie burners though for um cardio in general and losing some uh body weight Running is gonna be the top one. You burn a lot of calories when you're running. Rowing and swimming are also really good. Those are full body, so you're using your arms and legs. You're gonna be burning a lot of calories from that. Swimming in particular can burn a lot of calories because a lot of people are bad at swimming. And if you're not as efficient or not as good at a form of cardio or specific exercise, it actually takes you more calories to burn uh, when you do that exercise compared to if you were Michael Phelps, for example, and a really good swimmer, he's more efficient. So he's going to take less energy to actually do that form of physical activity. So something to consider if you're not as good at something, you're going to burn more calories. Um, stair stepper is a calorie torture. If you have one of those stair stepper elliptical things where it just keeps going up as a never ending cycle of stairs. That's a really, really good form of cardiovascular activity um, that I really like. That one's a good one to actually put on a weight vest too. Really simple way to make cardiovascular exercise burn more calories and hopefully burn more fat. You can add some extra weight. So a weight vest is really good. You can even just hold on to some dumbbells and do kind of like a farmer's carry type thing too. That's a good option. Um, circuit training is one of probably the most potent calorie burners so this would be taking a few different strength exercises like squats and pull-ups and just doing them in a cycle so you do one exercise and then you do another one and then you keep doing it all and all along with no rest in between not only do you get the good strength benefit from those exercises but you also on top of that get your heart rate jacked up the entire time so you're burning calories through cardio but you're also getting in some good strength work 
And one of the things we do know about losing belly fat and losing fat in general, muscle mass is extremely metabolically active. And because of that, you will literally burn calories at rest doing absolutely nothing if you build some muscle. So that's why circuit training is one of my favorites. Find one or two of these you like, just stick with them. That's gonna give you the best long-term results. Don't really overthink it because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna be the one that you stick to and do for a very long period of time. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. We help individuals of all abilities improve their overall knowledge of the gym and become healthier in life.